Hi guys, welcome to Placement Drive. I'm Shashantan. Uh, welcome to the Late Code series, part 2. And today I'm going to see problem birth 3005, count elements with maximum frequency. Uh, basically, the question is nothing but number of elements in an array with maximum frequency. We are going to count the number of elements in an array with maximum frequency. For that, first we should need to find the frequency of each elements and then we should find the count of the elements with maximum frequency. To explain this bit more clearly, I'll just use this example one. Now, now we are going to count the count the first. We are going to count the frequency. So first element is one. The frequency of one till now is one one. And next element two. The frequency of one two till now is one. After two is repeating again. So we are going to increase the count from one to two. Then 3 is coming once and again 1 is repeating twice so we are going to increase the 1's count by 2. And now again we get 4 and the count of 4 is 1. So what is the maximum frequency here? Maximum frequency here is 2, right? So again now we are going to go into the array and we are going to find how many, how many elements we have with maximum frequency. Now first element is 1. Does 1 has the maximum frequency? Yes, 1 has the maximum frequency. So, count is 1. Now, 2, two has the maximum frequency. Yes, 2. Count is 2. Now, we increase counts by 3. And 3 is not, does not have the maximum frequency. But 1 has the maximum frequency again. So, total count is 4. That is, 4 elements in this array has maximum frequency of 2. That's it. Uh, to explain it a bit more better, in this, see, in example 2, each element is repeated only once. So maximum frequency is what? Maximum frequency is 1. So there are 5 elements in this array having maximum frequency of 1. So the output is 5. Can you guys clearly understand? So if you didn't, if you don't understand, please pause the video and read the question once again. Now let's get into the solution. We are going to execute our code exactly in this format. First we are going to count count the uh, frequency now then we're going to find the maximum frequency and now uh, then we are going to traverse the array and uh, count number of elements which has the maximum frequency to implement this part of our uh, our solution we need the key value pairs which is hash map we should we should store the number and its count so we need something like hash map to execute this uh, because hash map works as a key value pair. Now, in this problem, we can take the array elements as key and its respective counts as the value. So we can modify the value, we can increase the value, we can decrease the value, we can do anything by uh, using the key. So hash map is a basic approach to implement hash map. This is a format hash map and the data type, which data type of the key, data type of the value, and uh, the name of the hash map which we want. Go to new hash map. To manipulate the hash map to insert an element, we use put method. Click in uh, put the value in this respective key. We use put method to get. We use get method. If you mention the key inside again, we get the value. It's a simple uh, process on how the prog program works. Now let's get into the solution. Now basically, first we need the length of the number, length of the array, so we get the length of the array, then what we need, we should implement the hash map, right, hash map, like I said, hash map, what our array elements are integers, so we are going to, uh, going to use integer, and count is also an integer, right, so, integer comma integer, h, we use h as a name, equal to, new hash map that's all now we are going to what is up what the first step we mentioned we should we should first count the uh, uh, count the elements and we should increase the frequencies respectively we should find the frequency of each element so what we are going to do we are going to use for loop zero i less than n i plus plus 
inside the for loop what we are going to do first we are going to increase the count right so h dot put of what i going to use here what will the key key will be the array element comma what will be its count if there is a new element what will be its count it count be one will be one right so one but will this work for everything no if what happens if element comes twice so for that we should check if the element is already present in the hash map or not to check that we are going to use if condition h if the set contains key which it's centering the loop does h contain this element what happened if it contains if it already contains we are going to increase the count by 1 because it's coming again so what are we going to do we are going to modify the hash map by telling that this number which is entering now is already present so that we are going to get the previous count which is already present for that specific number and we are going to increase that count by 1 simple right basically what i what we are do, doing is first we had one count as one so first in this step we we we, we put one here and count of one is one what happens if again if again the same one comes if one comes as an element we are going we are going and putting as if one comes as an element we are going to say that in in one key we should put we should get already we should we are going to get the count which already present what is the count which already present uh one one is the count which is already present so one plus one as is coming twice which is equal to two now what now we are going to go into here going here and modify the count as two that's what we are doing here can you understand basically what we did while i thought the when i proposed the solution logic so solution logic that's all and when if we if we just leave it leave this line like this it will execute every time so what is what is check we should put here if the element uh, is already present this line will execute if the element is not present and it is new only we need this line to execute simple as that if the element is new we just insert the element with count of 1 that's all can you guys understand okay now this step is done next what we should do we should find the maximum right we should find the maximum frequency how to find the maximum frequency first let's initiate the maximum in max equal to 1 why am i using 1 here because if an element comes if an element is present the count will be one obviously right so the minimum value of for the maximum uh, frequency is one so we are using one so when when we should update the maximum because default for uh, we have all the frequency as default as one because if an element is appears the count will automatically be one when will the maximum change the maximum will change only if this line of code executes right so we are going to check whether the maximum changes or not now we are going to use a math.max method which is nothing but if the math if we use math.max of 10 comma 20 the answer will be 20 it returns the maximum value between two values that's all what why what are you going to use inside this math math.max the previous max and the newly updated hash map value get of suffix that is for example if our max is 1 and here the newly updated max is 1 plus 1 which is 2 so here we are going to check our previous max 1 and newly updated max 2 and the new max will be 
what happens if another element for example if three repeated three times if three repeated three times uh, if three repeated three times what, what will do nothing but uh, no, no, what is our new uh, previous max now previous max was 2 and here the modified value is 3 which is here the modified value is 3 so the new max will become 3 okay that's how we are changing the max can, can you guys understand max will change if the modified value if the repeated value is more than the uh, previous max that's all can you guys understand okay that's it now we have completed this part we have, come, we have fo we found the max now next what we should do we should traverse the array and count how many elements has maximum uh, maximum frequency right so for that what we are going to do we are going to use a count counter which is to zero and we are going to use another loop to zero j less than n J plus plus. What we're gonna do if the if the frequent count of the element in that array is equal to the max count, max frequency, we're going to increase the count by one. That's all. Now we are going to count, we are going to 3 and watch all the elements which have maximum count. We are going to increase the counter and we are going to return. Can you guys understand? Well, simply I will just recap. We are going to create an hash map. We are going to, uh, for initially we are going to put every element as count as 1. If the element is already present, repeat comes again. We are going to increase the count and we are going to store and we will update the max. If it comes again, again we will update the uh, hash map and again we will update the max. That's all. Simple as that. After that, we are going to going through the array elements and and we will just matching what are all the elements have the maximum count. That's all. Simple as I explained here. We are going to see if 1 has the maximum count, counter will increase to 1. If 2 has the maximum count, counter will increase to 2. If 2 has the maximum count, again counter will increase to 3. And 3 doesn't have the maximum count but 1 again has the maximum count so counter will be 4 that's all can you guys understand now finally we have, we have retained that counter that's all let's run and see if our logic and our code is correct yeah, absolutely let's submit and see if it if all text is passing yeah it's passing it's simple as that can you guys understand if you have any doubt in this code, please feel free, feel free to comment. Uh, if you have any doubt, I'll, I'll clarify. If you have any suggestion for me on what question I should do next, you can leave it in the comment. And if you have any queries or any suggestions uh, in my teaching, uh, please leave it as a comment. I'll definitely reply to it. Thank you so much. Bye.